Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com. In today's lesson, we're going to learn the bass line to Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones. This is the uh, fifth in our mini series of Rolling Stones bass lines. Um, quite an eighth note orientated line for this tune. Um, not as many subtleties in terms of rhythm that we've seen in some of the other tunes that we've looked at, um, but still a good tune to learn common kind of barroom jam kind of tune. Uh, there's only five sections that you need to learn and put together and then you can play through the tune. Before we go and look at the first of those sections, the intro, don't forget if you're not a subscriber to my free monthly easing, click on the link underneath the video, uh, go to my website, go and subscribe, you'll get a sequence of four video and PDF lessons delivered to your email inbox over the next few days as a thank you to subscribing. Plus there's a free monthly video and PDF lesson that's also exclusive to subscribers. So go and do that. As I say, it's free, just cost you the price of your email address, um, and that's it. And let's go on with the lesson, and let's look at the first part of the tune, which is the intro. The intro is a 16-bar section. It's comprised of two uh, sections. You've got the first eight bars. Uh, the bass doesn't come in for the first two bars. We'll pl I'll play through those first eight bars. They're very simple. Um, so imagine the guitar's playing, so you get... One, two, three, four, two, two, three, bass in. Okay. And all you're doing is, for those six bars, you're just alternating bars of G at the fifth fret of the D string in eighth notes to bars of C, third fret of the A string. Repeat that again, and one more time, and then you go to the last eight bars of the intro. Um, this section, chordally, is based on uh, a section that comes after the chorus, um, either as just four bars on its own or as the sax solo later in the tune. So I'll play these eight bars of the intro, three, four. which is in C, which we'll look at in a moment. So, these last eight bars of the intro. First bar of that is just an E-flat, sixth fret of the A string in quarter notes. Then you've got a bar of C, third fret of the A string, mostly eighth notes, the last beat is a quarter note. Then you've got... And the notes for that are... That's A-flat, fourth fret of the E string, three eighth notes of B flat, and then uh, an eighth note, the last eighth note of that third bar of this section is C, the third fret of the um, A string. Then the last bar, you've got C, E, F, F sharp, G, E flat. Um, so C is the third fret of the A string, E at the second fret of the D string, then you've got F, F sharp and G, third, fourth and fifth frets of the D string, and then the last note of that bar is an E flat to lead us back into um, this four, four bar or four bar section again. Um, that E flat's the sixth fret of the um, A string again. Um, I'll play those four bars again um, slowly so you can hear what they should sound like. Okay, and then the next four bars, um, the first bar is, which is two E flats, sixth fret of the A string, G at the fifth fret of the D string, B flat at the third fret of the G string, straight down to C, third fret of the A string. The next bar in C is all eighth notes of C except the last note, which is an A flat. Third fret of the A string again, A flat's the fourth fret of the E string again. Then the next bar, you've got four eighth notes on A flat, that fourth fret of the E string. Then you've got two eighth notes and a quarter note, B flat, sixth fret of the E string. And then you've got which is C, E, F, G, B flat, C. Um, 
C is the third fret of the A string, E second fret of the D string, F the third fret, G the fifth fret, B flat the third fret of the G string, C the fifth fret of the G string, and then you'd be into the verse. So I play those four bars, the, the last four bars of the intro slowly. Let's go and look at that verse. Okay, here's an eight bar verse, the figure that will get you through the verse. Two, three, four. last pattern was the first pattern of the chorus. Okay, the first bar of the verse is just C, third fret of the A string again in eighth notes. The second bar is mostly C in eighth notes, third fret of the A string. You've just got the end of that pattern, or the end of that bar, you've got an E flat, sixth fret of the A string, and a G, fifth fret of the D string. The third bar is just F in eighth notes. That's the third fret of the D string. The fourth bar, you've got this pattern, which is F, E flat, G, F, E flat, F, open D. Um, F to E flat is third fret of the D string to the sixth fret of the A string, up to G at the fifth fret of the D string, then you back F and E flat, back to F, and then the open D. Okay, the fifth bar, again, just eighth notes in C at the third fret of the A string. Uh, sorry, that was the fifth bar. The sixth bar is just C, third fret of the um, A string, all eighth notes apart from the last note, which is a quarter note. And then the seventh bar is B flat, going up to C in the eighth bar, third and fifth frets of the G string. The very last note of the seventh bar is a passing tone going up to C. And then the last note of the C bar, um, the eighth bar, is, is B flat, again, third fret of the G string. So I play through that verse really slowly. Now, for variation when you're playing that, you could play those last two bars down an octave as well. So the last four bars would be, you start with C. Then you'd be into the chorus. Um, obviously, down an octave, B flat would then be the first fret of the A string. C would be the third fret of the A string. So that gives you a variation you can throw in. Let's go and look at that chorus that we just heard the first few notes of. Okay, the chorus is an 8 bar section. Play through with the metronome and we'll talk through the notes. Two, three, four. Last note of the chorus is E flat, it's like an anticipation to the uh, either the sax solo or the four bar riff that comes afterwards, and we'll look at that in a moment. Okay, first bar, it's just G, G, B, D, E, G, and the notes are G is the third fret of the E string, you've got two quarter notes there, then you've got B, second fret of the A string, D, fifth fret of the A string. E, 2nd fret of the D string, G, 5th fret of the D string. The second bar is, the notes are G, 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 E flat, D, G is the 5th fret of the D string again, 
E flat's the first fret of the D string, and then you've got the open D string. Um, and then the next two bars, of the third bar is, which is just C going to the lower fifth, which is G. Uh, C and G third fret of the A and E strings respectively. So you've got C, C, G, C, C, G. And then the fourth bar is C, which is, so you've got C, then you've got open D string, E, F, F sharp, G, second, third, fourth, and fifth frets of the um, D string. So I play those four bars slowly. Okay, the second four bars are similar to the first four bars. Fifth bar is identical to the first bar. G, G, B, D, E, G. Sixth bar, similar to the second bar. Which is G, G, fifth fret of the D string. E flat, open D, C, open A. E flat's the first fret of the D string, C's the third fret of the A string, of course. Then the seventh bar is pretty similar to the third bar. You've got C, G, C, 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 open A, C, um, and C and G, the third fret of the A and E strings, respectively. And then the final bar is just all eighth notes of C, except the last one is E flat, sixth note of the um, a string. So I'll just play those four bars. Okay, from there, uh, first chorus goes to a four bar pattern in E flat, um, and the second chorus goes to um, a 16 bar sax solo. Again, it uh, starts in E flat, um, and you can use the same four bar pattern for both of those things. Let's go and look at that four bar pattern in E flat, very similar to the last eight bars of the intro. After the first chorus, there's a four bar pattern. Um, Similar in many ways to the section you heard in the intro, um, in the last eight bars of the intro. Um, also, you can use this four bar pattern I'm showing you, play it four times after the second chorus and use it under the sax solo. Play it through the metronome, then we'll talk through the notes. Two, three, four. Okay, so it starts off E flat. 6th fret of the A string, you've got, they're all E flats except that last 8th note of that bar which is a C at the 3rd fret of the A string, 2nd bar is C, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, so C, 3rd fret of the A string, E is the 2nd fret of the D string, F is the 3rd fret of the D string, F sharp is the 4th fret, G is the 5th fret of the D string, and then you've got A flat there on the fourth fret of the E string. The third bar, you've got two more of those A flat quarter notes, fourth fret of the E string. Then you've got three eighth notes, sixth fret of the E string, which are B flat. And then the last eighth note of that third bar is C, third fret of the A string again, and then you've just got a bar of C in eighth notes. And as I say, you can repeat that pattern for the sax solo. I'll play it the complete pattern slowly. There's just one more pattern you need to pick up to be able to play through the complete song and that's at the end of the song in the kind of like the outro section um, under the lyric of yeah 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 whoa there's like a four bar vamp um, just two uh, just going from G to C um, let's go and look at that four bar vamp so after the third chorus we get to an outro pattern which just repeats, so play it a couple of times with the metronome talk through the notes one, two, three, four
very simple pattern. First two bars are just G's, fifth fret of the D string in eighth notes. Then we've got a bar of C in eighth notes. Third fret of the A string again. Then we've got half a, and then we've got the, the fourth bar. What you've got is five C's, it's all eighth notes. And then you've got E, F natural, F sharp, second, third, fourth frets of the D string, which leads you back to G for the start of the pattern again. And that pattern just repeats over and over um, and then goes towards the end.